I'm angry sometimes My heart's on the line These problems are mine to hold yeah. So if you guys have been here since like the beginning I started motor vlogging, you'll know that this mirror just even after I got like the upgrades to my bike, it just it's like a limp penis. It just doesn't want to stay up. And it's just like I'm always constantly threading it and uh I'm not threading it, tightening it up and shit. So I'm gonna tighten up one more time. I just lost my set of Allen keys to do it, so I'm riding without a mirror, but you really shouldn't rely on the mirrors too much. You always want to do your blind spot checks and shit. But yeah, if you guys have been with me since day one, let me know if you guys remember like the first couple of vlogs where this fucking shit was still like this and it's just, I don't know. I'm gonna tighten it up one more time next time I ride and if it's still doing that, I'm gonna have to fucking get a new mirror, which I don't want to do, but you need mirrors. We are in Tokyo, Japan. And uh, this video is just gonna be about me living overseas in the military because it's, it's mostly about it's more projected towards people that are have intentions of going in the military, but it's also about anyone else that has thoughts on living overseas if you're not like one with the culture, you know? So a lot of people I believe have, uh, they got worries, they got doubts and shit. Whenever they find out like, oh, I'm going to Korea or I'm going to Japan or I'm going to fucking, uh, you find out you're going, to, you're living overseas, you're moving to a different country. And for some of people, it's just a huge fucking shock to them. And they're just like, no, 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 no. Like, I don't want to go overseas. And the problem with that is all about, I'll start here with comfort zones. <clears throat> comfort zones are just a little spot in life where you get comfortable doing the same shit every day and you just go through the motions of life. You're working your nine to five job, you're going to school, doing whatever the fuck you're doing, you know? And the problem with that is a lot of people get too fucking comfortable. Um, we're gonna go left for no reason. The problem with comfort zones is that you get comfortable doing the same shit every day in life and you don't progress as an individual anymore because you're just so content with doing the same shit. Oh, this is a soccer game. Oh, I'm gonna come here next time and watch one. Um, yeah, people get so content with just doing the same shit all the time. I'm repeating myself. I'm trying to see where I'm going with this. They just get so content doing the same shit all the time and before they know it, you know, they're on their deathbed saying, fuck, I should've done more, I should've done more. And for me, I uh, I never left out of the country. I'm 20 years old. I was never out of the country. I've been to different states. I've traveled, but I've never gone out of the country. And a lot of people just fear that for some reason because they fear change. They fear you know a different culture. I don't know what it is, but it's it's crazy because like it's Tokyo, Japan, where I am. Okay, you guys gotta understand. If you guys get orders to go to a different place, a different country, just embrace it. Embrace the change because that's what's gonna help you. I can say. Being in Japan, I've been in Tokyo for almost a year now, okay? Being in Japan, and yet again, I have another thing I'll test on too, like I haven't seen my family in pretty much a year, okay? And I've been in Tokyo for almost a year. But being in Japan for a year has just been the best year of my fucking life. And I'll tell you that why. Because A, I'm experiencing another country that people pay thousands of dollars. You realize an air, like an airfare ticket from the United States plus a passport and all that other shit, to get here is about $1,000. $1,000 I'm saying for a plane ticket. And then this guy's riding like, uh, he's got flip-flops, thought he was running barefoot. Airfare, tickets, you gotta pay, if you don't have passports, you gotta pay to get passports. Do all that shit. And I'm living in this country for free and I'm getting paid. I'm not getting paid a lot of money, but I'm serving in the military, living in another country, getting to experience a different culture. I get to see how other people live. Because you guys got to understand, like, you get so comfortable, it's not just you in this world, there's other people that live, and they all live a different way. So whenever you guys always say, oh, I have it so bad, I have it so bad, I have it so bad, think of how other people are living, because a lot of people have it a lot way worse than you do. And what I'm going with this is that I'm experiencing another country. I'm living in Tokyo, Japan, halfway in the world, around the world in another country. I get to experience a whole different culture, I get to try a whole bunch of different new food, I get to meet all these new people, see how they do everything differently compared to the United States. And it's crazy, like when you first come here, yes, I'm not gonna lie, it was a fucking culture shock because 
A, like, where are the fork and spoons? I'm using a fucking chopstick every time I do something. And then B, like, people do things way differently. The food choices aren't going to be the same and stuff. And you just might be uncomfortable because you're not used to shit. But all I'm going to say is embrace the change. You're living in another country. So if you guys, all these people, I'll say it with, um, um, what should I say it? I'll say this, man. I know so many people that were, got stationed or got orders to live in Germany or Italy and they traded like there's a thing in the air force where you can trade your assignment when you're coming out of training from boot camp you can train your fucking uh train trade you can trade your fucking overseas location and i know some people that got overseas assignments like great fucking places like italy or okinawa japan tropical island or guam or something like that and they're just like i'm too far away what the fuck whose fucking kids are those Great parents. Um, well, you don't have to worry about that because nothing's going to happen to them. But fucking... Enough of these lights. Why did I choose this road? I know people that just gave up their overseas enlistment. Their, I mean, not their enlistment, their overseas assignment because they were afraid. They were afraid of living overseas. They didn't want to be the change. It, they can be so far away from family and shit. And that's... It's understandable. But you guys have to realize... It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. You're in the military. So I had these friends that gave up. Uh... I have these friends that gave up fucking overseas tours. Like I said, they had Italy, Japan, Germany, like all these cool fucking places. And they're like, oh, I got a girlfriend back home. Oh yeah, <laughs> there's a good one. I have a friend that got, uh... Japan maybe yeah Okinawa Japan he had a girlfriend up back home at the time and he's like nah man I can't I can't do the distance and shit and I got a fucking I can't do it so he went to California instead and what ended up happening is he broke up with his girlfriend and he missed out on going to Japan I do you think he regrets it fuck yeah I think he does because now he's stuck in Cali with a broken heart um but yeah like I know one of my friends I talked him back I talked him going to going into Germany because he's like, I don't want to go to Germany, blah, 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 it's too far. And uh, I talked him into it. I was like, dude, you got to go to Germany, man. Like, I'm going to Tokyo. You're going to Germany. Like, you got to do it. Embrace it and shit. Enjoy it. And he, I kid you not, he texted me once when he first got there for like a month or two. And he's like, damn, man. He's like, thanks for like making me fucking go to Germany. He's like, this is fucking awesome. I've met some crazy people. It's been life changing. Like, Germany's crazy. And I was like, see, like, see, where are you going, dickbag? I don't even know where I'm going. But yeah, so when I talk about living overseas, you're, if you're in the military, you're going to be on a base. Unless you're higher ranking, you live off base. And this is how Japan lives, man. So we're taking you through uh, Extreme Makeover, Zeke's Edition. This guy should get out of the fucking way. Or just drive down the middle of the road. I need to get out of here. I fucking hate driving down these little roads. But yeah, this is uh, this is Japan. Fuck. I knew I needed gas. I don't feel like getting it today, too. I have no idea where I am right now. Left, right, go. Um. But yeah, like, being in Japan being away from family, you're going to have your times where you guys are homesick. It's another part about being homesick in the military. But you guys got to understand that everything is temporary. And what I mean by that is being away from family, loved ones, it's all temporary. You guys got to understand this one too. If you guys are in relationships or you're just away from loved ones, you got to understand that every day that you're further, every day that passes, you're further away from the last time you saw them but you're also one day closer from the next time you will see them. So if you think about it that way, you can get through any other situation as long as you guys are communicating and all that crap, whether it be relationships, family, or any of that. But yeah, I missed home. I miss home a little bit. I miss my family and shit. But believe it or not, guys, that shit fades. I don't know if it's me because I'm just a dark, twisted motherfucker like you guys say in the comments, which probably is true. But, like, I don't... Sometimes I forget my family even exists back home and I don't talk to them until they talk to me. And they're like, hey, you who? Look, where are you? You okay? Because I just... I'm so embraced in living in another country and busy and all that shit that I kind of just forget about them. <laughs> Which is fucked. But, like, you guys... Like, anyone will speak for me. Like, going... 
living overseas for a while or something like that or you're so busy like you kind of just don't communicate with your family as much as you used to that's another thing i'm not saying you're gonna fucking you know i don't even know where the fuck i am i'm in bum fuck nowhere but just go overseas have the opportunity just embrace the change guys like i've changed so much as a fucking uh as an individual just being away because like I was never really alone alone when I was home. I had a job and stuff. I was kind of independent, but now it's just like my internet bill, my phone bill, if I need clothes, gas, all that shit's on me. It's all on me. And you guys gotta understand too, if you guys are living with parents, I don't even know, I'm not saying you're terrible if you are, but you gotta know that your parents aren't gonna be there forever, you know? You're gonna have to live on your own someday. <laughs> I have no idea where I am. Remember that video I made? about do I regret joining the military or why did I join the military so military something like that and like there's see it ties to the point like I'm in Japan like if that's not cool like if that's not cool that I'm living in Tokyo for two years like I don't know what the hell's wrong with you life's too short to stay in one place and didn't go through the motion shit you want to experience as much as you can because when you're dead one day or, well obviously when you're dead one day but when you're on your deathbed or you're like you're older you're gonna regret why are you stopping oh my eat a dick oh I should have gone that way Fuck. Too late. You need to go overseas. You guys get orders to go overseas. Just fucking take it. Embrace it. Embrace the change. At first, you're going to be uncomfortable. 100%. You will be uncomfortable at first. Uncomfortable at first. But as time progresses, you're going to get used to it. You're going to be independent. You're going to be doing shit on your own. It's kind of the most rewarding feeling ever. Because you can do whatever the fuck you want to do. And you have your own bills, your own money. You can spend money. If you want to go out and buy a whole bunch of fucking sushi and put it in a bathtub and just jump in the sushi and pretend you're a fish as you like swim around a bathtub, or you want to drive around on a bike and flip flops, you can do whatever the hell you want. You're by yourself. You're overseas in another country. When you like, when you get out of the military, if you decide to get out of the military, eventually you get out of the military. But like, or if you're just you're, you're traveling or something, who, you can look back at all these memories and say, I went to here, I went to here, I went to here, I went to here. And you have that one person that's home, like, oh, I went to college and I, I sit at a desk and jack off, you know, like. Maybe they're not jacking off, but, you know, they're doing something. When you guys look back, I want to get out of the military, you have kids, whether you want kids or not, you want to get a dozen million dogs or something like that. You can easily just like look back at all these pictures, these videos, these memories of I, I traveled here, I traveled here. Like, I don't know about you, man, but like I want to travel fucking everywhere. I want to try and hit every fucking country before I die. And you never know when your last day on earth is going to be. It's kind of fucked up. I could be riding my motorcycle right now and this guy could be like, fuck you and ram me and kill me right now. I don't know that. But like live every day in the fullest, man. Travel as much as you can, man. Here's like travel as much as you can because life's not meant to be lived in one place you weren't put on this earth to go through the motions just do the randomest shit you know <laughs> but yeah you know like going to a different country no matter where it's going to be it's being away from home you're going to be uncomfortable at first you're not going to understand much you know the, the language barrier is a little difficult at times but if you just point at shit they kind of understand you but it's just a learning experience and it's all about self-growth when you're so far away in another country it's just like you're put in this position and they're like all right survive you know like Someone commented like, oh, like, they put you in another country, do they do they pay for all this shit or something? I'm like, yeah, like, sort of, you know, like... Lights right now are red, but there's green arrows to indicate going straight and left. Like, if that doesn't throw you off, then Hillary Clinton should be president. False. But, pretty low on gas, we're gonna go get some gas. Another cop, what are you gonna do, you pull me over? Another really weird ass thing about cops in Japan, the crime rate is so fucking low. There was like one murder of all of Japan last year that they're just like, cops are just hungry for fucking people. So I'm just waiting to get pulled over. It'd be pretty cool. I love in Japan how you can lane split because there's so much traffic behind me and I just cut right in front of them all. That's another thing about living in Japan. But yeah, so to sum it up, I tried to hit some key points, but I'm just going to say guys, the key points you want to get out of this video Embrace the change. Embrace the opportunity that you have that other people don't to live in another country, experience how other people live, experience the food, all of that shit. Different currency, different time zone, your sleep's gonna get all fucked up. And all that shit, you know, like. Is that kind of a tricycle? Yeah, but you're, I'm living in Japan, and it's just, it's, it's been the greatest fucking learning experience ever. Fuck college. I'm not saying, oh, don't go to college, but like this, I feel like this. I've learned more about life in my one year of being in Japan than I would have in fucking doing four years of, of college. The fuck? So just, just embrace the change. Let it happen. 
just think about the positives, you know? Just you're voting this out, you're uh, offered this opportunity to go live in another country and see what it's like and travel the world and see all these cool places. Life's not meant to be living in place, so just take that opportunity. Don't give it up like other people do. It's gonna be weird at first. I'm not gonna lie, when you get somewhere different, it's, you're gonna be uncomfortable. You're not gonna know what to do. But eventually you'll get the hang of things and it's gonna be the best time of your life. Arigato. There you have it, folks. That's uh, pretty much what I want to say about living overseas. All I'm going to say is take the opportunity if it's given to you, embrace the change. It's going to be different at first, but it's your life, guys. You know, if you don't want to live overseas, experience another culture, a country, and all that shit while other people pay to come here, that's on you. But the benefits outweigh the cons. Take it how you want it. See you guys on Wednesday. Wednesday, I'm going to upload how I lost 30 pounds in, on my diet. And then on Sunday, it's going to be a video of me flying in an AC-130, doing a whole bunch of combat maneuvers and hanging out the back of a C-130 of one of our Air Force planes. So be on the lookout. So be a lookout on Wednesday. If you guys have any, anything else you want to say, future video ideas, drop them in the comments below. And I'll catch you on Wednesday and Sunday. Like my Facebook page, follow me on Instagram, make sure you guys subscribe. See you next week.